Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone joining us from around the world today. A welcome to the Intelligent Community Forum's 2023 Smart 21 conference entitled Turning Connectivity into Growth. And thank you to all of our sponsors and to our partners, uh, including all of the ICF communities and ICF uh, nations and institutes who are involved with us, uh, uh, companies such as uh, Digitunity, uh, Lit Communities, uh, also the Alliance for Innovation, IPO, and as we'll hear more from Economic Development Australia, EDA, and the Economic Development Council, or sorry, Association of Canada, also known as EDAC, and we'll hear more about them as we go on. Now, today we have two panels, uh, one on economic development, a round table who uh, will include people who are representatives from EDA and from EDAC. Uh, we also have a representative from the United States and we'll introduce them all later. Uh, we have an, a panel called Activating Your Small Business Sector from, with representatives from New Zealand and from Canada. But before we go into those sessions, I'd like to introduce my colleague and co-founder of ICF, Robert Bell, and he's going to talk a little bit more about uh, today's program. Robert. Thank you, John. ICF began its work by studying communities, and, uh, cities and regions that were coping successfully with the huge changes brought about by the, ex by the explosive success of the digital revolution. Now, today, that digital technology dominates our economy, our society, our culture, bringing great changes at high speed so that no legacy is safe and no competitive advantage can last. In that world, ICF's mission is to keep the place called home strong and to make it stronger. Whether it's a, a rural city uh, or a major metro, it needs to create an innovative and growing economy, an economically inclusive society, and an affirming culture, one that says yes to opportunity because it is open to the world. And that's what it takes today, to be a great place to live, to work, to learn, to grow, to raise a family, to prepare a path for the next generation. Now, from the cities we studied, we learned best practices in many different areas. We discovered that when pursued together, they create a whole that's greater than the sum of the parts. And we call that whole the Community Accelerator Strategy. Six success factors that speed a community toward a thriving economic, social, and cultural future in today's digital economy. Now, one of those six factors is the subject of this conference. But broadband, broadband technology by itself, it actually doesn't matter. What matters is what people and their communities do with it. And that's why our topic is turning connectivity into growth. And we'll be exploring it in discussions with economic developers, with chief information officers, network experts, and people working in social policy and services. And we'll end our conference by announcing these Smart 21 Communities of the Year, the first stage in our international awards competition. But awards, as much fun as they are, are really the fun part of much more serious work. Because what we do is to turn what we've learned over the past two decades into knowledge that we share through online training and in-person workshops, through books and reports and events like this one. And through that work, we build a network of communities that circles the globe. And to give those communities another competitive advantage, we've inter introduced an intelligent community certification program just, just this month. It identifies cities and counties and regions that are investment ready that are prepared to prosper amid the challenges and the opportunities of today. So meeting that certification standard offers objective validation that a community has high quality connectivity, effective workforce development, a business innovation system, and meaningful community engagement, digital inclusion, and sustainability programs in place. These qualities combine to support the growth of innovative businesses, to meet their talent needs and provide a high quality of life. Certification, in short, offers real economic develop development value both today and tomorrow. And if you're interested, you can learn more about it at intelligentcommunity.org slash certification. So my thanks to you for attending our 2023 Smart 21 conference. We hope that you take away some great ideas that you can apply in your own community. And it's now my pleasure to introduce a co-host for our event, her experience 
ranges from economic development for industry clusters and regions to lobbying for programs to support people with disabilities. Now the CEO of Economic Development Australia with its 1,700 members across that nation, she's Jacqueline Brinkman. Jacqueline, over to you. Thank you so much, Robert. Um, I would just like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the country from which I join this virtual meeting today, the Darug and Gundungurra peoples. We recognise their continuing connection to the land and waters in and around this place and acknowledge that sovereignty was never ceded and that this land in Australia always was and always will be Aboriginal land. We pay our respects to Elders past and present and most sincerely extend that respect and thanks to all First Nations people present um, amongst our global audience today. Um, thank you very much, Robert, for that introduction. Um, as Robert said, my name is Jacqueline Brinkman. I'm the CEO with Economic Development Australia. Um, and for those of you joining from outside of Australia, EDA is the national peak body for economic development professionals um, here down under. Uh, we are so honoured to have recently renewed our partnership with ICF, which allows us to work collaboratively on events such as this one today, um, which of course is part of the 2023 ICF Smart 21 conference. Um, this is one of many ways our two organisations will work together uh, for the benefit of our respective membership groups. We really do thank Robert and the rest of the ICF team for the opportunity and we're really looking forward to future collaboration. And it's also really exciting today to be partnering with our colleagues at EDAC as well in Canada. Um, we've had a long-standing partnership with them um, and we really um, enjoy collaborating with our counterparts around the globe. Economic development professionals around the world have for sure been at the forefront of driving economic recovery in cities and regions following all of the challenges that we've faced uh, in recent years. Um, I'm sure you agree that it's just become very evident how important economic developers are to recovery and rebuilding. Certainly our EDA members in Australia have proven to be agents of change, working at a grassroots level to address many of the key complex economic challenges facing Australia, and I know uh, many of which are shared by um, those of you joining us from around the globe today. Throughout the recent challenges, EDA has aimed to really back the economic development sector here in Australia by providing resources, collegial connections, professional development, um, and importantly, a national accredited training program. Um, and through that time, I'm really pleased to say the economic development sector has backed EDA. Uh, this organization has bucked the trend of so many associations with our membership growing around 20% year on year throughout the pandemic. Um, and we now, as Robert said, have over 1700 members across the country. Um, so we're just so pleased that we can, um, in partnership with our colleagues, deliver events such as today. Um, today, we'll be focusing on turning connectivity into growth or bits into coin. I love whoever came up with that. Um, for sure, the pandemic made clear to us all that digital connectivity and services were essential, of course. Um, but what perhaps is still uh, relatively unclear is to what extent does it contribute to economic growth? And as Robert said, we need to know that if we are to ensure our policies adapt to this so-called new invisible infrastructure. And we need to know that to make sure that we're leveraging the opportunities that connectivity presents. Um, and today we have the opportunity to learn from fantastic communities that have leveraged their broadband assets for economic impact. Um, I really hope you enjoy the sessions. Um, we're just delighted to be partnering with ICF and EDEC. And it is now my pleasure to hand over to John to moderate the session and kick us off. Thank you so much. Well, thank you very much and uh, really enjoy working with you. Looking forward to uh, working with you in, in future years. 